Good afternoon and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I got a good amount of stuff done for today while I ended up using my planner. Um, so I kind of stuck to that and was able to get things done that I needed to for today. The only thing that did kind of stink was that, um, honestly, right in the middle of the day, normally like when we try and it's like while we're babysitting me and Jack, um, right when we try and like do some activities and stuff like that, all of a sudden I just felt like I was getting sick. I felt like I had a sore throat. I felt like my body didn't really ache, but I felt like my eyes felt like kind of swollen. Um, like my nose felt really stuffy and I was like, I'm sure that this is allergies. <laughs> there is like no other reasoning for it. But the thing was, was that my throat felt like it was consistently getting like worse. And normally like if it's allergies, I'll know because I'll be like, oh, like, you know, it's just, like you know it'll kind of like come and then it'll kind of just linger around and stuff like that but this felt like it was like consistently getting worse and I was like what's wrong like am I sitting because I noticed sometimes when I was sitting in front of the air conditioner like especially because like it I don't know if it like takes the air in from like outside and stuff like that or whatever but um like if it ever winds up moving from like to fan so like our air conditioner or the one in my room um and i know the one in the living room too is like set to a temperature so if it reaches that temperature or whatever then it'll just like move to like a fan or like a lower cool maybe or something like that and so i've noticed that and sometimes i can tell like because the air feels more like humid like kind of sticky especially if it's a humid day like it was today um and you can kind of like tell like the air that's blowing on you is like different and so that's what I was like kind of wondering like I wasn't really like sitting in front of an air conditioner today um but like sometimes I will notice like I said my allergies might wind up a little bit worse but it was super super humid out today like my mom said maybe it's like the that called the barometric pressure or whatever because she had said too that her eyes felt really swollen and like puffy and yesterday at the party like right in the middle of like the party all of a sudden like my eyes felt like they were just gonna like close shut like how puffy they were my mom even commented she's like your eyes don't look right like something looks wrong I was like I'm pretty sure it's allergies but I never had like any other symptoms yesterday so then today like I said like right in the middle of the day I was like I think I'm getting sick like I was sitting underneath a blanket like I was um you know like honestly thought i was like sick i didn't really have like chills or anything like that but um then i too i was like debating i was like should i take an allergy pill or should i take like something else my mom was like well if you don't have allergies and you are getting like a cold or the flu or something like that taking an allergy pill might like kind of help some of the symptoms like if it is like a sore throat or something like that because i didn't know what i should take because i couldn't really tell like what if like I said if it was like actual like sick sick or if it was actually just allergy sick and so my mom's like why don't you just try that and see if you feel better sure enough right after I took it I felt like a hundred times better but then by that point the little boy who we're babysitting for his mom was like almost like within like a half hour an hour or something like that of being there and I was like I don't even know if we should like start you know like activities and stuff like that with this much time left so I think we ended up like reading a book or something um but like during the day today i couldn't really get to a whole lot like jack kind of helped keep him entertained but, but by the time jack had to leave for football today it was like um you know already like his mom comes about i think like an hour or something like that after jack leaves i think they normally leave like right around three and normally his mom comes sometime around like 4 30 or so um so it's like just a little after over an hour um so yeah that's why i um i like i said i didn't really have a whole lot of activities so i'm like jack kind of helped keep him entertained but um I, I like had everything all set out too i was like okay we're gonna make um like paper airplanes today which again it was raining out today and so that's why it was really humid out but it was like raining in the morning then it stopped and it was like super humid and like muggy and like muddy also outside and so i did didn't want to like go out there and like drag him through like <laughs> the mud in the backyard and stuff like that to go like do paper airplanes so I was thinking of like we have like a hula hoop and another like a frisbee with like a hole through it and stuff like that and so I was like we could like set these up and like fly the paper airplanes through it and stuff like that we had a whole book about paper airplanes so I was like this will be like a 
fun activity to do for today and then I felt horrible and I felt like I was like full-on sick and I was like oh my gosh this is horrible I was like I don't want to like either to like bail on his mom like tomorrow and be like I have like the flu or cold or something like that and I was like, I really hope I feel better. And like I said, in the morning, like I felt totally, totally fine. Like it wasn't probably until like maybe sometime around like 11 to noon or something like that, that I just started feeling like really bad. And like, it was like I said, like progressively felt, seemed like it was getting worse. And so it was like early in the morning, like I woke up was totally fine. And then probably by like nine or 10 o'clock, then all of a sudden felt like I was getting a sore throat. And then it just felt like it kept getting worse. And then, like I said, I probably took the allergy pill and then felt fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we were, like I said, we were going to do that. I brought down hungry, hungry hippos, which I found in the attic, which was like a game Jack got when he was like little for a Christmas or something like that. Um, we have like a lot of like kids games and like board games and stuff like that too. Um, so we ended up getting the game. Um, I brought the game down. Like this was while I was still feeling good in the morning. I brought the books down. Um, you know, all this kind of stuff. I got the paper out to make paper airplanes. I had crayons and stuff like that. I was like, okay, we're all ready. We're going to, you know, do this and stuff like that. And, um, I think they were like finishing up the movie or whatever. And then that's all of a sudden, like I said, it just hit me. And I was like holy cow I feel so sick right now and then after I took the allergy pill like even though it says non-drowsy for like maybe about like an hour or so afterwards I kind of felt a little out of it too and although my throat didn't hurt or anything like that I felt like a little like like I said just kind of out of it um not really bad but I don't know if that was also maybe because I was just tired but my eyes guys they do kind of look a little like puffy but honestly I'm like sometimes they do just because I'm tired um but it's also too like from allergies like it's not just from like not getting enough sleep like my allergies have been really bad um like I said my mom said that even yesterday too like she noted never noticed it like throughout the whole rest of the day and then all of a sudden when I started like noticing like I kept doing like this because like my eyes just felt super puffy um and then my mom even said something and she was like you don't like it. but it was so weird because it like came and went like within like only like maybe less than an hour or something like that but I did end up actually editing four vlogs for today and then um once he left and I was feeling good again I was like you know what I'm gonna get to some laundry because I needed to wash my bedding so I was like I'm gonna do that along with washing like other people's things you know in there too because my comforter alone has to be like washed by itself but then I like with my pillowcases and um what's it called my like sheets and everything like that I just threw it in with all the other stuff that I had so I did do a load of laundry today I also did a load of dishes that was first thing in the morning when I was still feeling good but it, like I said it was so weird it was just like that one chunk of, during the day that I just felt like garbage and I, like I said I think it was allergies and then my mom too was complaining she's like my eyes feel like they're really swollen too um like so I don't know if it was allergies or like I said like the barometric pressure or something but for me it was like all in the back of my throat too and like my nose felt super stuffy and I felt like I was getting a sore throat and then the problem is too whenever I feel like I'm getting a sore throat um my stomach always winds up hurting like it's from like you know just like the stuff in the back of my throat um and so then I had an upset stomach and I've had an upset stomach pretty much for the rest of the day today um while I did put some peppermint oil on my stomach, my mom always does that and she always says it works, which I did. And then, but that was only like maybe an hour ago <laughs> or two hours ago. And I felt fine ever since. Like my stomach stopped hurting, but um, I should have probably put it on earlier. But <laughs> my mom didn't mention it to me until later. And she was like, I just used some, it's on the microwave. I didn't actually even know we had any, but I do know that that when I had that like horrible stomach bug for like right near Christmas or whatever it was like the week before Christmas um was I gonna say my mom like gave me peppermint oil to use and that actually helped a lot like it was much better I think it would have I think it would have ended up worse if I hadn't had had that but honestly when you have like a full-on stomach bug there's not a lot that can help even even essential oils at that point are kind of like yeah they're not gonna help you that much um 
so yeah that's it today though like I said it ended up helping me a lot um so yeah I felt much better I feel much better now guys I feel totally good and I feel like I have all of this energy now that has been like I haven't been able to use during the day today because I felt so bad um so now I'm like wide awake and like let's go do something like honestly I was outside in the yard like looking at like the garden and stuff like that and I started pulling weeds out and I was like it's like eight o'clock at night I was like why am I getting why am I getting the urge to go garden right now um and so I did though I actually did chop down um I, I trimmed down our delphinia because um it I think I told you guys with the whole worm problem that we had or the caterpillar or whatever it was um or and or a slug because I did find a slug on it at one point um but I it, there's new like foliage on it so I trimmed down all the old stuff that was like eaten up um which it looks really nice now and not like dead and decaying and <laughs> like chewed to pieces um so the piece that's still in there looks really good and then I trimmed and pulled some other stuff out that I just noticed um and I also um because I was trying to see we I planted a um a dahlia bulb um or two of them I think and I think only one made it maybe I'm not totally sure but I don't know when they were supposed to bloom because like I planted them at the same time as my cornflowers and my gladioluses all of those have like been growing the whole time and these just barely started but there's already a lot on there so I'm like okay this has to be a good thing <laughs> um, like they're pretty big for the size if it is that if not it's a weed but it's a really bizarre weed I've never seen anything like it I tried to compare like pictures online and it looks like it so and it's in this spot where I planted it but I don't know it could be a weed too so I'm just gonna let it keep growing and like you know normally when things shoot up that quickly though that's what kind of scares me and I'm like it's probably weed but um yeah like I said I don't really know I'm just gonna let it keep growing and if nothing happens to it at some point I'll probably just pull it out but it actually looks really nice um like it doesn't look like ugly and like a weed or anything like that like <laughs> it doesn't look clearly like a weed so um if not it's a pretty weed so <laughs> I'll leave it in there until um I figure out what to do with it or have my mom verify that that is what it is but like I said I looked at pictures online just to like compare and I was like this really does look like it and again nothing like any weeds I've ever seen or have seen in that bed specifically so I think that's good but anyways I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys